Within the production of my magazine campaign, I integrated different technologies such as Adobe and Microsoft software, Canon and Sony hardware, and several different pages of sources that helped to develop my understanding of film magazine campaigns and conventions that are used throughout. The software that I used within the process of my magazine campaign was Adobe Photoshop CS6 64-bit, which allowed a simple creative process to play out. Within this, I used several different tools such as the Content Aware tool to the Background Removal tool, thus helping the creation of each of the three sections of my magazine campaign to form a finished product. Although software was the most predominant form of technology integration, I used hardware to also benefit my project, kickstarting it with the images that I had to capture, thus helping the creation of each of the three sections of my magazine campaign to form a finished product. Although software was the most predominant form of technology integration, I used hardware to also benefit my project, kickstarting it with the images that I had to capture due to the imagery being, being an important asset to the conventional magazine campaign. My understanding of the Canon 1300D and Sony XA25 also allowed this project to proceed well and to a professional level because of how I used the cameras on a previous project. For the images I took of my model from a cover story, I used the Canon 1300D to take these images as the lighting, zoom and focus were especially good when capturing the perfect image. So much so that I didn't have to use Adobe Photoshop Lightroom to alter the way that the lighting looked in the photographs. These high quality images, taken on the camera, formed high quality images in the Adobe Photoshop software, which made the production in Photoshop smoother and more applicable as professional work. Due to this benefit of the hardware working in my favour, I was able to manipulate the images to different backgrounds and add more layers without losing the original quality of the photograph that was essential to the realism of the campaign. When conducting the research project for my campaign, I looked at different examples of each element of the campaign and depicted conventions that each one held to incorporate it into my magazine in the early layout plan that I created on the Microsoft Software Publisher, where I depicted where I wanted certain conventions to lie on each section of my magazine campaign. This was only used as reference when it came to the creation of the campaign. As for instances where I used computer-generated research, I commonly refer to the JPEG images, the front covers, contents pages and articles as well as official websites for magazines of the same genre, known as Empire and Total Film, when considering which are the typical conventions to use in my own campaign. The research process was conducted predominantly from the online sources that provided information needed in order to provide my final product with the professionalism of real media text studied. I looked in depth at how different articles were laid out and constructed and designed my own from the inspiration grown from several case studies, specifically Empire. The use of other software came from the integration of images taken from my hard drive that I had collected from my holiday over the summer before when looking at what kind of magazine I wanted to complete in my coursework the following year. My trip to both the United Kingdom and Paris helped me to develop a wide range of photographs that could be used in my contents page and seemed like they were supposed to be there. By incorporating my large image of a bright red motorcycle taken at a wide long shot on my Sony XA25 in the Disneyland show Motors Action Stunt Show Spectacular into my contents page and marketing it as a new film that Film Talk will be addressing. I am expanding the audience demographic from the other films that were also being addressed in the contents page, such as the Oscar winners of that year and many superhero films collected into one story. Thus, again, demonstrating knowledge of a mass audience attraction due to the many genres covered in the typography of the contents page. When referring to the incorporation of hardware, I combine my previous knowledge with both cameras addressed previously when choosing the piece of hardware that I would eventually choose to capture my photographs, obviously making my final decision the Canon 1300D. Because of the lighting being in between the golden hour and dusk, I had to capture the photographs at the best angle so that the shadow that was casted from him to the sand on the beach wouldn't be too hard to cut out and project manually onto Photoshop at a later date via the drop shadow. I didn't choose to use a three-point lighting setup, which was the original decision that failed to make it past the pre-production stages, due to the fact that I closely studied which time of day I wanted my pictures to be taken to get the most out of the natural lighting that I could manage. This was also the case when considering the photographs taken by the car that are featured in the contents and article in which software was incorporated to airbrush my reflection from the sides of the car that you can see in my article where the car can be seen in its full. The addition of the software merging with the hardware is common in regards to airbrushing photographic anomalies 
and flaws in the image that need to be removed or altered. This was removed using the spot healing tool and a bigger brush than commonly used for small changes in crease lines or insecurities, also used in the uniform of my model on the front cover page. Although hardware played a small role in the production line, it was an important element to the early production stages. Overall, the combination of all three technologies helped to bring the magazine out of the production stages to form a professional piece that brought all of my research and pre-production documentation together.